Uh, hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a Modern Master's Draft uh, because the the block queues, the 8-mans, they are not firing. Uh, you can sit in queue for a couple of hours and they just don't fire. Uh, it's not that surprising because it's a grinder format and dailies are where grinders got their thing in. But it's okay, next time I should be back to business with uh, probably mono block uh, because dailies are coming back. And by the time you see this, it should be today, like after, time after downtime on the Wednesday the 11th. So, but for right now, dailies aren't up, and the eight mans fire extremely seldomly, and I haven't gotten one to fire all day. <clears throat> so I'm going to play in a Modern Master's Draft, and this is actually only the second Modern Master's Draft I've ever done. I just thought it would be pretty fun to try and see uh, how, you know, it goes. So, jeez, I haven't seen some of these cards in a long time. Best cards in the pack that jump out at me are Test of Faith... Uh, and I'm, mostly I'm basing these on their respective limited formats, so I don't actually know how Modern Masters itself goes. Torn of Stone, Test of Faith, and I guess Path of Exile, just because it's a removal spell. I'm leaning... T <clears throat> uh, sorry about my coughing, I'm trying to get over a little cold. But like Test of Faith is absolutely ridiculous in Darksteel Draft. Uh, it was like the best white card, other than like Blinding Beam, or I think that's what it's called. Uh, it was just a complete blowout, but I don't know if it's just better than a exile target creature spell. So I'm probably just going to take Path of Exile. Uh, you, the last time I drafted in Modern Masters, I kind of forced like a spell-based storm deck, so if I want to do that again, I could take Torn of Stone here. Uh, it's an arcane spell that does a lot of damage to creatures for a fairly cheap cost, but I want to just take Path because I think it's the safest pick here. Though, I could easily see Test of Faith being better. <clears throat> Ooh, Knight of the Reliquary. Not sure how good that card is without fetches or nonsense, but it's probably pretty good anyway. <coughs> and it puts me well in my color, uh, because the the next two best cards in this pack are probably not as pretty well. Eternal Witness and Dirkwood Bailoff. Eternal Witness is incredible. Uh, it's like a Recollect and a Gravedigger combined. Which is absolutely one of the best cards you could have. Uh, better than Knight, though? I'm not sure. Knight probably just takes too much time to ramp up. I know there's Terramorphic Expanse in this format. I don't think... I think that's it. I don't think there's any lands that kill themselves. And I'm not really rare drafting. I don't know how much Knight is worth. So I think I'm just going to take the Eternal Witness. Because I think Eternal Witness will be better in a green-white deck than Knight will. Maybe. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take the Knight. I haven't played this format. I know Eternal Witness is good. I want to see how good Knight of the Reliquary is. Uh, standout cards. Again, Test of Faith. Maybe it's it's being passed here. So, uh, Vivid Creek, Wrathy Trapper, Sylvan Bounty. Those are all the cards I'm looking at. <coughs> Probably just going to take the Test of Faith here. I think I can get another Sylvan Bounty or like a Kodama's Reach or something to play with my Knight of the Reliquary, and I think that's pretty much the only other card I would take, so I'm just going to take Test of Faith right here, try to pick up like some Rebels or something, some Weenies. Uh, I'm not sure how good Earwig Squad is, uh, if I were already in black. It seems really expensive, and I don't remember how many Rogues are in the set. <clears throat> I don't think it's that many. Another Test of Faith? Huh. I don't know whether I'm like over evaluating this card or or what. Or maybe it's just like not that good in this format, because I thought this card was like absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but I'm considering between Vivid Meadow and Terramorphic in this pack. And uh, also Amro Seekers. Because <coughs> I think the small creatures will help out like the test I already have. And the lands will help out my Knight of the Reliquary. Uh, Penumbra Spider is also actually very good. But I definitely, I think I definitely want to take like Vivid Meadow because it's probably the best fixing in the format. Uh, just the Vivid Lands in general, they're always a, like very good fixing. And I want to stress again that I'm, this is only my second draft, so obviously there are a lot of iffy picks here. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take the Vivid Meadow though, because except for the Spider, these cards seem fairly replaceable. If people are just passing Test of Faith left and right, maybe I'm just misevaluating it, uh, which is why. 
like I'm hesitant here. So cards in this pack that interest me are Moldervine Cloak, Giant Dust Wasp, Giant Dust Wasp, and Sins Enlistment. Sins Enlistment's actually very good with Knight of the Reliquary. All retrace spells are pretty good with Knight of the Reliquary because I don't I can pitch cards from my hand to cast spells or pitch lands from my hand to cast spells, which pops up my knight. Uh, the Moldervine Cloak's also good in the Weenie deck, but I don't really have any creatures yet. <clears throat> and Mortal One Cloak's common. It's just Death of Faith, apparently. I thought it was an uncommon. I'm not paying attention. Oh well. Uh, I think I'm just going to take the Sends Enlistment here. Try to go for more uh, token-based, knight-based strategy. And I don't really have anything in this pack. I could take a Walker of the Groves, a Pallid Mycoderm, or Vivid Grove. I could try to go into... <coughs> I don't know, Skyry Trans is pretty good, but I don't think I have the fixing for that. Or like any of the cards. Like, if I had a good Homeless Reach, I'd probably take the Skyry Manta here. <coughs> but if I want to just like go tokens with Sins Enlistment and Mycoderm and stuff like that, it's probably better for me to do that and pick up like a Overrun or something like that. There's a Stir the Pride and uh, the green one from Time Spiral. I can't remember the name of right now. Tromp the Domains. But I'm just going to take Vivid Grove here because, rather the same reason I took Meadow. It's an extremely good fixer. And I'm sure Mycoderm will show up again. Oh. It's actually a pretty good pack. I've got a Worm Harvest for my Knight, which I actually want to try to take here. It makes tokens and has Landis Energy, so if we're in the token uh, Knight of the Reliquary Synergy deck, this is like the perfect card for us. But the other cards <coughs> are... Uh, Death Rattle, Search for Tomorrow, and Fellow Germinator. Uh, actually, passing Search for Tomorrow here kind of sucks because that card's extremely good. Uh, it fixes your mana and accelerates you. And the Death Rattle is easily splashable. Uh, the Germinator is not actually that good, but it's just a creature that you know provides tokens. But I'm just going to take the Harvest. Uh, if I didn't mention it, this is also Swift Draft because I wanted to play all three rounds. Cost Sword. <clears throat> I could take the Stinger, the Grasp, or the Grove. Uh, I don't think Stinger is very good. I could try to hate draft like a Brute Force or Sting Scourger because I think those are the best cards in the pack. But I think I just want more fixing with a Vivid Grove. This puts me like pretty much don't need to take any more mana fixing. Torn of Stone Wield. That's very strange. I was going to first pick that card. And I, I did take a t Test of Faith earlier. Uh, I think I'm going to take Reaper Branches here. Uh, interacts with Knight and makes tokens, which is my token theme deck. Oh wow, Dirk with Bailoff wield? I thought that card is you know, incredibly strong, so I'm just going to snap it up. And the Sylvan Bounty. Okay, so pretty clear, uh, stereotypical Swiss draft, I guess. All the cards I thought were insane are just getting, I get to last pick them all. <laughs> Sylvan Bounty and Dirk with Bailoff. <coughs> Okay, I was just making sure I read this right. It is whenever forest enters here, the battlefield, not a land. So it would be helpful if my deck skewed a little more towards green, especially since I have the Worm Harvest, which is triple green, unless I'm playing black, which doesn't look like it right now. Wow, and the Penumbra Spider. That is absolutely bonkers. I like, And the Moldrine Cloak. Are people just not in green? Are the other seven people in the draft not playing the color green? Because I, I honestly thought each of these cards could have been, or not the Reach Branches, but Sylvan Bounty, Dark of Bailoth, Spider, and Cloak. I thought each of those cards could have been better than the card I took in that situation. Uh, maybe not Cloak, since I'm not really, I didn't really know what I was doing yet. And it's, I, don't, I didn't know if Cloak would be as good as it was in Ravnica Draft where the games are much grindier and dredge is extremely potent i'm just gonna hide that war marshal because i want to play my knight i really want to dip into red for just a war marshal so we open a crunchy side crusher which isn't tarmogoyf unfortunately um we get an amru scout a wood reader a blinding beam blinding beam is probably what i'm going to take here And then maybe get like an Amru Scout or an Intuko Shaman on the wheel. I don't think Wood Readers 
will wheel, but if it does, I'm probably just going to take them since it's a form of card advantage. But I think uh, Blinding Meme is too good to pass. It lets my tokens swing in multiple turns. It's like a, uh, what's that card from N11 or something? Sleep, I think? Yeah, it basically taps their team for two turns. <clears throat> and only four mana at its end speed, which is pretty good. Um, what do we have here? Not a whole lot for me, honestly. I could take the Dust Wasp for a, uh, a cheap flyer. I could take the Apocrisite for just a, gra just a creature. I could take Sylvan Bounty for mana fixing, which I don't really need anymore, since I already have three Vivid Lands and a, uh, another Bounty. I could take Armor just because it's a Grizzly Bear. That's probably not the ideal pick. Because I think armor is just worse than Apocrisite, if I want to go that route. And <clears throat> I don't think I want to splash for any of these cards. I'd probably splash for Take Possession if it was only one blue. <laughs> but it's double blue, so I probably can't splash for that. I guess I'll just go for a giant Dust Wasp here. Flyer, help me close out games. So we have another Reach of Branches, a Moss Dog, an Ancient. Which is the... only requires two Spore Counters to make us Aperling, uh fungus a scout I have no rebels right now except for the scout that may wheel and that's pretty much it I think I'm just gonna take the ancient or I can take the moss tuck. I'm not really sure which is better I know which is this was better in Ravnica than this was in Time Spiral but I don't know if I'm gonna be picking up a lot of fungus in this draft hmm I think I'm just going to take the Moss Dog because it's uh, pretty aggressively costed 3-3 three, three with Dredge, so I could never run out of a threat. Also combos pretty well with my Voltron Cloak. Um, not seeing a lot of white cards I'm interested in taking. There's another Sins Enlistment, but if I'm just... It looks like I'm just like splashing white. I'm pretty heavy green with a double green Spider, double green uh, Walker of the Grove, triple green Worm Harvest. So I either need to pick up it's probably not that bad since I have a self bounty and three vivid lands, but I need to take a put careful consideration into my uh, colors basically. So I could take the double green island walker selkie, which I don't think is that desirable for me. I could take another sins enlistment, or I could take a thalid germinator. Germinator is probably the weakest card here, but it fits my curve. Like I want more three drops before I pick up, pile up on fours, so. I think I'll just take the Germinator. Uh, Death Knight is actually an incredible card. That's a very good source of card advantage. Or at least it was in like, Betrayer's Draft. I've drafted a lot of draft formats, by the way. <clears throat> I could take another Germinator, or I could take... like That's pretty much it. It's either a Germinator or a Rebel. And if the Ancient wheels, my Germinators get a lot better. Get about two-thirds better. And I think that's better than just like hate drafting a Dampen Thought or Pestermite or something. So whoever ends up with the Fairy Deck is probably going to be pretty annoying if Pestermite's going this late. Because Pestermite's probably one of the best fairies in Limited, if not the best fairy. And I'm not going to take Tarashi's Grafts because it's pretty much just a sideboard card. I could take the Emru Scout for curve considerations, but I think one's going to wheel to me. Mast Admirers, a Terramorph Expanse, and a Wood Reavers. <coughs> wood readers, excuse me. And an ivory giant. Hmm, I think this is actually pretty tough. I wish I had life from the loam. That'd be pretty good in my deck, ironically. Um, hmm. <coughs> What's the condition for this? Whenever I cast a creature spell? I actually just kind of want to try out this card. I've never played with it before. I've played with readers before. It's fine. It's a little expensive. I've never played with Max Schmeyers before, and Ivory Giants would be better in my deck if I didn't have so many Thalids already. Like if I had more Sins Enlistments and less Thalids. Um, so this picks between Sudden Shock or Aether Spellbomb? I think Sudden Shock's better splash than Aether Spellbomb. Aether Spellbomb is much better at more stages of the game, but I think Sudden Shock I think I'll be happier d drawing sudden impact off a of splash and I will be an Aether Spell Bomb. And we've got pretty much nothing here. So I guess I'll take a Shaman. 
Which is not that good, but... I don't see a reason to hate draft. Uh, I'll take that scout I said I'd take earlier. Uh, there should be another one coming up. Or maybe an ancient. I hope the ancient wheels. <clears throat> if everyone passed all these green cards in the first pack, I don't know why the ancient wouldn't wheel. <clears throat> another sylvan bounty. Which I guess I'll take. Probably not playing two. Because unlike Fiery Fall, uh, when you have enough lands to cast Sylvan Bounty, all it does is gain 8 life, which is not nearly the same as 5 damage to a creature. And I'll just take another Reach of Branches. <clears throat> These Death Denies are going pretty late. I'll just take another Sins Enlistment, and then a... Thundering Giant, I guess? I didn't end up going any uh, small creature white weenie, so this test of fate's probably not making the cut. And I'm definitely not playing three sins enlistment. Hanakami, I don't think it gets back anything. Yeah, the only spell I have are Reacher Branches and Sylvan Bounty. Neither of which are Arcane. Blinding Beam. <laughs> Not Arcane either. Okay, and here's where the train stops. I think ordinarily, if this were any real event, I would take Gleam of Resistance. Because I have all these token creators. I have a Reach of Branches, Fallout Germinator, Sins Enlistment. <clears throat> Just a lot of uh, ways to get out multiple creatures. And this is very good by just pumping up my team. But Vendillion Click is worth quite a few tickets, so I'm just going to take that. Because Modern Masters is a format where you're just going to have to rare draft sometimes. And, you know, that's not the worst thing. <clears throat> what does this card do? Oh, this synergizes pretty well with my tokens. Is it better than Gleam of Resistance, though? That's the real question. The answer may be yes. Uh, oh, Tromp the Domains. Wow. Probably want to get that one instead. Tromp the Domains is actually uh, one of the best overruns I think they've printed for Limited. And even though Bound and Sounds is an incredible removal spell, this I think helps me kill them. So we're going to go for that. Uh, maybe one of these, maybe Metaborn Gleam. Maybe one of those two will wheel. I don't expect the bound and silence to wheel. <clears throat> so we've got... I wish I had a Kodama's Reach. That would really help my ability to play these expensive cards. And all these land-based cards. I might just take Woodfill Promise. Just sheer power. Because <clears throat> I don't want another Reach of Branches. And uh, Stir the Pride's probably the weakest overrun. Uh, just because it costs so much mana. <clears throat> and doesn't give you creatures trample. It does give them lifelink, though. Mm, I think I'm just going to take Primus. I want to play with this card. I don't know how viable an 8-mana card is in draft, but Woodfall Primus is definitely one of the sweetest 8-mana cards I've ever played. Uh, it's much better than Walker of the Grove, at least. <coughs> Ooh, Kodama's Reach. Uh, I think I'm just going to take that. Kodama's Reach is pretty incredible. It lets me play all my spells, fix my mana, and uh, gives me cards in uh, lands in hand for Sins Enlistment and Reach of Branches, Worm Harvest, that sort of thing. And otherwise I'd be taking like a... I don't really know what I'd be taking. My 2-drop slot's pretty weak right now. I think I'm just taking another Bailoff here. A little more early game plays. I can That puts me with uh, these three three cards to play in my first two turns, plus all the uh, Vivid Lens I have. So I'll just pick up a uh, Bailoff here. Hmm. I guess I'll grab a Whiff Sweeper, because I was just talking about how I don't have any uh, two drops. And Whiff Sweeper is a fine Grizzly Bear. It also does a number on any number of 
suspend guards that they might have, such as the Bayloths everyone's passing, uh, Aaron F. Ron, and uh, Riftwing Cloudskate are the main ones that I can think of right now. And there's nothing else. The only other thing I'd consider in this pack is <coughs> uh, Death Rattle, just for the splash, and I don't think it's as good. Well, don't really have a lot of options here. It's basically Wood Readers, and that's it. I could take Hillcomber Giant, but I play have so much green already. I'm not going to play a 3-3 a three, three Mountain Walker for double white. Thalid. Basic Thalid. That's a cute art. I don't recognize that art. Is it new? <coughs> uh, Echoing Courage. Not actually the worst, but not a card I think I want to play. I definitely played over Test of Faith, but I don't think I played over Thalid, as funny as that sounds. Uh, my deck's pretty much set to win long games. Another Cloak, a Gleam. I'm going to take this Gleam. It gives me more ways to kill them with my tokens, which is probably the main way I'm going to have to kill people. And there's another Gleam. So I don't have to play either of these Sylvan Bounties, since I have two Gleam of Resistances. I could take another Sylvan Bounty, I could take a fourth Sins Enlistment. <laughs> I guess I'll just take the Sins Enlistment. <coughs> I'm basically mono green with Knight of the Reliquary and Sins Enlistment and Gleam of Resistance. Uh, I'll just take another Mustog. Ooh. I'm not going to play another Wood Readers, I think I only have like two Street Rates on Moto, so I'll grab another one. That common drafting. Okay, so how on earth am I building this deck? Um, definitely playing all these lands, but I'm not going to shove them in right now. So, Reach of Branches, Spider, Mustang, Exterminator, Cloak, Rift Sweeper, Thalid. Oops, I don't want Hawk Alley right now. Path, Beam, some number of enlistments. <laughs> not the Scout, uh, Worm Harvest Knight. So what does that look like? That's pretty much what I expected, honestly. Um, hmm. I have a feeling this Moldovan Cloak's not going to do a whole lot for me. Giant Dust Wasp is like a two drop. Darkwood Bailoff is a one drop. Tromp. I need a Mountain for Tromp. Or just like any third land for Tromp. I don't even need to play the Sudden Shock if I don't want to. Uh, I have no removal on my deck, so I probably should play the, Tromp, uh, the Mountain or the Sudden Shock, but Let's see what I can take out first. So, I don't think Mass Admirers is that good, so let's go ahead and take that out. And I can play. If I play more forests, I have more ways to buy back Reacher Branches. I can play additional Reacher Branches if I want by taking out, like, if Moldervine Cloak. But Moldervine Cloak makes my individual creature strong, uh, fills my lands, my graveyard with lands for Night and Worm Harvest. Though I do have two Moss Dogs that also do that. Hmm. I could take out the Thalid just because it's a one drop that doesn't really uh, impact much. I think I'm going to do that actually. So take out the guy here for the third Sins Enlistment. Actually, you know, is the third Sins Enlistment better than the Reach of Branches? I don't think so. Because the Reach of Branches lets you cast it whenever you ca play a forest. And these do, by the way, these are kind of anti-synergistic. Uh, one encourages you to play lands, the other encourages you to hold them. But if I play one forest, I get back both Reach of Branches if they're both in my graveyard, so I think playing two, two of each is better than playing three since enlistment and one Reach of Branches. <coughs> um, I don't have a lot of early defense, basically just relying on Penumbra Spider and Moss Dog, and the premise for the large beatdown. Maybe I want to play Road Reavers just as a uh, uh, early 1-4 if I need it, and just ditch the cloak. I don't know if that's smart, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> Oops, Wood Reader is a hill giant, or a, excuse me, a horn turtle. Yeah, I don't really want to please Walker of the Groves. Uh, they're pretty limited in scope. 8 mana, 7-7, seven, seven, that... When it dies, you get a 4-4. It's all upside, but it's very expensive for a vanilla 7-7. Seven, seven. 
I think I'd rather just overwhelm them with uh, phallids, soldiers, and worms. And tree folk, sure. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so if I want to go with that, we want... And I'm just double checking if I missed anything. It doesn't look like it. So we want three things. And I'm actually going to add a swamp for the Trumpa domains, just because I don't. I want people to think I'm splashing some sort of mono black removal spell, like um, the Delve one. I can't remember what it's called right now. Death Rattle, I think. And what does Moto suggest? Why does Moto suggest swamps? Oh, I also have a swamp for uh, Worm Harvest. Okay, so. 9-3 puts me at what? One land short. So I play four four planes. That gives me... <coughs> and I'm using these planes for Sins and Lisbon and Gleam. Path and Blinding Me, which are all yeah, fairly late game spells. I can get a planes at any time with my... I pretty much just Kodama's Reach since I cut the Sylvan Bounties. And I have three additional sources of light with my Vivid lands. I think that's fine. Four puts me with like uh, four, seven, seven white sources and a bunch more green ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve green sources, and a swamp for Tromp and Worm Harvest, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll try this. Um, please go easy on me. I'm not sure what. Again, this is my second ever. Master Edition Drive, and the first one was with, all with friends, so we were mostly just playing around. And, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Might as well submit this. And I'll see you all for round one.